Meanwhile, you can't get it anywhere else. Our NBC 10 Boston exclusive, a special visit from a NASA astronaut. That's right. Our cameras were on hand this morning when Sunita Williams stopped by the Needham Elementary School named after. Take a look. Williams is gearing up for her third flight into space next month, and she wanted to be sure she got to spend some time at the school before then. Good morning. Hey, there's a fellow astronaut. Look at that. How cool. Students and teachers launched into the visit with enthusiasm, eager with their questions. Do I have constant jet lag? That's a great question. And clothing. It was a day filled with connections, conversations, and photo ops. Williams grew up in Needham and hopes the students will be inspired by her work just as she is fueled by them. It has my name on it. <laughs> so I, I feel a little responsibility, right, to share uh, the good fortune that I've had in the, in the experience of my career. You know, we are doing lots of things at NASA that I'm not going to be part of because I'm getting older, but I would love to inspire uh, the next generation of explorers. I think it's really helpful for our kids to see positive role models and role models doing so much for our country and for our world. She's really nice, especially to the kids. You look so good in your outfits today. Did you guys know I was coming? It wasn't a surprise. <laughs> it makes me feel like our generation really will be really smart. All the stuff we could invent and make happen. It really shows that like women can run the world. How awesome is that? She is She's really awesome, right? inspiring yeah. the next generation On there. this uh, International Women's Month as well. Uh, Williams, by the way, will be the first person to ride the Boeing Starliner into space. All right, we're going to have to follow up with her after when she gets back yeah, on no that doubt. journey. They're going to go to the International Space Station. They'll spend about 10 days there, and then they'll return to Earth uh, a few days later. So that is expected to launch in late April.